and we're, we're cool. learning stories about you. Yeah, it was actually really cool. He was really nice because exactly. hey, what's up, MG? <laughs> Um, I started at our properties 12 years ago and I started at the front desk at Greenview and I started working the weekends and then I slowly moved on from there. I have been with, with the at uh, for 17 years and five months and five days. I mean, I'm sure someone has told the story already of, of Zaza and Zupanzik jumping into the river. My favorite memory about the Greenview office was all the happy hours. When I first joined, I had so much fun at the happy hours. I was like 22 years old and I was like, this is amazing. I mean, playing on Wrigley Field is probably, I mean, it kind of has to be number one, right? I mean, it has to be. It was Wrigley Field, it was Wrigley Field. Before when I first started, Everyone wasn't married and had kids yet, so it was actually a really fun group of people to hang out with and converse with. And now we're all boring. And now we're all boring moms. And married. And <laughs> don't get yes. to socialize as often. Um, that and just in general, probably all the parties. From what I remember of them, they were really great. But yeah, Wrigley. That'd be Wrigley. Can it be a person? No. And I remember back in 2011, before we had desktop computers available at the office, as an office manager, you had to log um, laptop rentals from the hours of like eight to five. And we <laughs> had so many missing Dell chargers because people would just take them. So we'd always have to email IT to be like, hey, we're missing the Dell charger for the laptop. It was such a pain to keep track of who was holding on to those laptops. So thank God we have desktop now that we don't have to deal with that. Other answer that you can probably publish uh, was the Creation of individual interest bearing accounts for each uh, escrow, for each contract, which we didn't, I don't think we ever actually needed to do, but it was just how we started doing it to make sure that we were um, accruing interest appropriately on the balances. And that was a big pain in the butt, big pain. I was really happy the day that that went. Come on, Don Shea has to ask you to do weird stuff all the time. I mean, come on. <laughs> There's so anybody who's better. like, it probably doesn't even weirdness. register as being weird to me anymore. I just accept it. Or it's <laughs> like, okay, all right, that's what you need. When I first started, so back in 2008, uh, maybe 2009, an agent once asked me who La was. And I was like, La? What do you mean? And they're like, yeah, you know, in the MLS, under the showing instructions, it always says call La and then the number. And I was like, oh no. And I was like, that just means call the listing agent. So somebody really thought the person's name was La, who had all these listings in the MLS. <laughs> so that tops the top charts. Hold on, thirsty. <laughs> Well, I remember, okay, there was one time when uh, Andrea, who was Mike Golden's first executive assistant, Mike was putting together a party for Kelly. And Andrea was asking me about how to, she was asking me for information on how to like work with a band. Cause he had like a, he had a U2 cover band coming in from like Boston or something because Kelly loves U2. And so I was helping her try to put together the details of like, I'm like, well, you're going to need a PA. Um, what kind of gear are these guys bringing? Like it was all of a sudden I was doing this completely different like skill set of party planning and advising her on what the band was going to need for this party. Cause she was just like, I don't even know where to begin with this stuff. We got a pet fish at Winneka named Jalapeno because we loved jalapeno pizza from, was it Michael's? No, from oh, Marco um, Romo. Marco Romo. Marco yeah. Roma. Yeah, Marco Roma. Yeah. Good one, too. So there was one night, uh, I don't remember why I was out with these particular people, but 
Eric Sommerfeld and I damn near got into a fight and Anthony Ruchus broke it up. Hmm. Ruchus Do you know what the fight was about? No. And I also remember having lunch with Mike um, at one point during the downturn, probably in 2010 or 2011. Uh, he had lunch with me and Joyce Olson because it was it was hard times. Those were really scary times. And, um, you know, the company was growing a lot. We weren't, we were working really hard. And that was very challenging. And I always really appreciated that he took the time to come meet with us, even though he didn't really have answers at that time. Um, he didn't have to do that, but he did because they care, you know? Um, it really just sort of boils down to the sincerity of those two to me. Um, it sets the tone for everybody else. I'll always remember all of the staff things that they've done uh, because I think it does bond people together because we all are dealing with the same crazy things. So I think them taking care of the staff really treats us like we're family. Um, so I think it makes for a better work environment for everyone. So that's really something that sticks out of my mind when I think about properties. And from when I started in 2008 until today, it's they treat us all still the same, um, which I find great since we have grown so quickly um, in a short period of time. No, I think what makes that special is is that people just, people sincerely care. I mean, Mike and Dad can make all the jokes that they want, but they truly care. Sincerely. I get to keep my job now, right?